Well, listen, man, three fight winning streak, back to back bonuses. How is life right now? I got to imagine it's pretty good. It feels good, but from win to win, we need to work harder. It doesn't get easier, so it's also a lot uh, harder than before. A lot of early success, though, in your career. People are paying a lot of attention. I mean, coming in the way you did, did you believe that you'd be able to make this kind of impact this quickly? 100%. My first fight I got was short notice, so I was not able to show what my real skill set is. Then I had time to develop, and uh, that's just a small part of our skills, and uh, hopefully Saturday you're going to see more. With what you've been able to attain so far, have you had to kind of set new goals or, or reevaluate where you think you can be? Because I think a lot of people believe you can contend very soon. Yeah, for sure. I just want to stay as active as po uh, possible. I just want to fight as much as I can. And uh, from day one, the goal was clear. The goal was to become UFC champion, so nothing changed. Nice. Las Vegas debut, right? Fight capital of the world. I mean, anything exciting? Does this feel like a special moment for you? Yeah, for sure. It's a, it's a great moment. I'm a big UFC fan since, since I was a kid, so this is like a, dr a dream come true. But uh, at the same time, we need to remain focused, not get impressed from all these uh, things around uh, outside of the fight. So, yeah, but it feels good for sure. Nice. I'm curious, have any fans stop you to, to take a picture thinking you're Kelvin Gastelum? <laughs> not yet, not yet, but maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about this matchup with Drew Dober, they mentioned the name to you. What, what did you think initially when they offered you the fight? It's a fun matchup. Drew's a great striker. He's a he's a tough guy. He's experienced, you know. So I think from fight to fight, I, I take every opponent very serious. I just think like this is the fight of my life. I need to fight until my death. I need to prepare. Like this is the last day of my life. So we take him very serious, and I look forward to Saturday. As you said, he's he's a tough guy. I mean, stylistically, it seems like this could be a very you know, explosive kind of back and forth battle. Is that the type of fight that you're anticipating? Yes, for sure. Like, like, like we all, he's a high level striker. He's a good Muay Thai guy. But I really think that we're going to bring the next level Saturday. His time, he's 31 years old. He has a lot of UFC fights. He's an experienced guy, but uh, this is the new school. I feel like the hardcore fans, they know who you are and they're paying attention to you. But do you feel like maybe this is a moment, like a, like a breakout moment where the casual fans that don't maybe pay his attention, they're going to see you and go, I, I like that guy. When the moment is right, everything will fall into place. I just uh, try to train hard and bring my best performance. And when the day comes, if it's written for me, it's going to come. And for sure, I think uh, the way we work, it's going to be a great night Saturday. This will be a big start to your 2020. What do you want to accomplish this year? Where do you think you can advance the career this year? I just want to stay as active as possible. If it's possible, I would fight three times this year. After Ramadan, I would fight in the uh, autumn, winter, but uh, now the next step is Drew Doba. So this is the next mission, and uh, after we're going to see. Well, like I said, this will be a big result for you. I mean, when you play this thing out in your head, what do you think? I mean, are you going to be able to go do something dominant, or do you feel like you're going to have to go in there and have a, a, a battle? What, what, what kind of fight is this going to be? The only thing I know is that I'm going to win. I know that I train harder. I know that I sacrifice much more. I don't know the outcome. I don't know how I'm going to I'm, I'm going to win. But I know for sure that I'm going to win. There's only this outcome and uh, Saturday. I love it. Let's get a couple of uh, questions outside of your fight, if you don't mind. Uh, the main event, obviously a big one. Everybody's excited about Conor McGregor, Cowboy Cerrone. Who you got in that fight? It's a fun matchup. We don't know. Fighting is so unpredictable. Whoever prepared better, whoever ha has a better uh, day, day shape, let's say. Uh, it's hard to call. Maybe Cerrone, if it goes to five rounds, or Conor in the first two or t uh, three rounds, let's see. 50-50, uh, I think. If you had to pick a word to describe Conor McGregor, just one word, what would it be? I would say impact. Why, why impact? Why because he, he brought so much let's say for Europe I'm, I'm from Germany and he brought so much attention to the sport this you cannot deny you know so I think it made a big impact